Hey guys, welcome back to the arena. So today we're going to be doing a little bit more grinding here on ladder. And if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. If you do end up liking my content, please consider subscribing and maybe sharing it with a friend who might also like it. For my returning viewers, thank you guys so much again for coming back and supporting me. It really does mean the world to me. Um, the deck list is going to be in the description both on untapped.gg and moxfield.com. And then there will also be a link to all of my playlists, both for uh, constructed as well as limited, um, OTJ draft, collab draft, my uh, road to rank one for best of one standard and then best of one standard events. So check those out if you're interested. I do wanna give a shout out here to my members. So thank you so much for becoming members and helping support the channel. It really does help me and help the channel grow. And if you are considering becoming a member, you will get access to early content uh, for as low as $1.99 a month um, if you would like to join and help support. It's a great way to help support. Here's exactly how you do that if you're interested. If you would like to become a member and help support my channel, you can do so. Just click on the join button right next to where it says subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Um, or if you would like to just support my channel just on a one-time basis, you can also click the super thanks button uh, here right on the, uh, also right under the banner here for the video. So these are both great ways to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys and I couldn't do this without you. So thank you guys so much again for your consideration. All right, let's get into some games. Okay, so jumping in. So we have mono white mid range. So this is the deck. Um, it's kind of shifted a little bit, but I use this to get from high platinum into low diamond. So I'm right now currently in low diamond. I think I'm in diamond four. Yeah, diamond four. And I wanted to build a deck. I kind of sort of tried this a little bit in the past where I wanted a deck that could run a full play set of temporary lockdown because it's so good right now in the meta against mono red aggro. Um, Boros Convoke, Mono White Humans, uh, other sort of low to the ground decks, and also run competitive threats beginning on three mana cost. And so sort of enter Mono White mid range. So basically we have for early interaction, we've got four copies of Elspeth Smite, which exiles, and then four copies of March of Otherworldly Light, which also exiles which is super important against some decks where like graveyard stuff matters also helps against like the teamer world soul deck where they want to like get back their nissa if you kill it and then sort of go off um and then we have four copies of soul partition which kind of slows the opponent down this is also really good because it can help us <clears throat> to reset our temporary lockdown if we need to so like if they play like a bunch of more nonsense we can just end of turn, bounce our temporary lockdown, and lockdown all over again. And then we've got four kind of threats beginning on three mana cost and higher. We have four copies of Wedding Announcement, which is really good against blue-white control as it uh, dodges their temporary lockdowns and provides some permanent buffs and some tokens to kind of get in there. And then we've also got four copies of Adeline just because it's a great threat generator uh, we have four copies of Gathering Throng, which you probably haven't seen since you were looking at sort of the new set back way when it came out. Um, not considered a good card, but this is kind of an interesting thing where it's technically it's a four for one. Um, it's not a good four for one, but it is a human. And we do have three copies of Cavern of Souls in this deck. So it's a way to kind of force through recurring threats as a human uh, with Cavern of Souls against like the Azorius control deck and it does also dodge temporary lockdown and so it's kind of more meant for the sort of um, control matchups you know or it can just be sort of like a bad you know sort of decent card to kind of buy time against maybe some more aggro decks here but I'm trying it out and I'm kind of excited to try it actually because the kind of you know it reminds me of squadron hawk it's obviously much worse than squadron hawk because it costs more and it doesn't fly and you know various other issues but if we're taking out all of their stuff that's low to the ground it kind of does pave the way for 
some decent beaters. So we'll see how it does. And then we've got two copies of Morel Shield of Argive. We don't really have any other soldiers in the deck, but this is, like Adeline, just a generator that over time will take over a game. And that's kind of what we're looking for here. Two copies of Wandering Emperor to start making tokens and kind of getting massive value. And then three copies of Virtue of Loyalty, which is sort of our end game. So we can play this early to buy time and then start getting the recursive effect of plus one plus one counters on everything and untapping. Um, we have two copies of Murex to kind of help build more tokens. And then since we're also monocolor here, we're able to run two copies of Blast Zone as another way to deal with low to the ground decks before we really set up. In addition, we've got four copies of Yuganjo. So we're running 25 lands here. So what's kind of cool about this deck is that you do have um, actually a lot of removal. You've got four lockdowns, four partitions, four marches, four smites, and then four Yuganjos, two blast zones. So you kind of have like 22 pieces of removal, sort of. I mean, that's not all amazing removal, but it's, you know. And then you've got a decent amount of like card advantage generating cards between like Adeline, Wedding Announcement, Gathering Throng, Morel, Wandering Emperor, and Virtue. So we're trying to find it, sort of like find that niche in between aggro and control where we're able to sort of play both sides. And uh, I'm excited. So all that said, let's go ahead and jump in. I've only played this a couple games, so I don't have a whole lot of uh, reps under my belt, but yeah, I'm excited to see how it goes. It definitely has a lot of potential against aggro for sure. I'm not sure how the control matchups are going to look, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, we'll just lose an Elspeth Smite. We have a lot of redundancy here, so... It's kind of a nice little interaction. I guess we can just smite it out of the way now. Uh, we could also start doing virtue, but um, yeah. Actually, you know, this deck doesn't seem like it's going to be very aggressive. Maybe it's just better to get virtue going. Yeah, I think we'll just take the two. Here, I think we can probably lose Soul Partition. It doesn't seem to be doing a lot for us. Smite might be useful against some of this nonsense. I guess like this could be good if we don't like draw more stuff. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we'll lose a Smite here, actually. Partition might be might be kind of useful. Deep cavern bat. Okay. I think we want to do virtue now. So yeah, maybe we should have used smite there. I I guess I just don't know this deck well enough. Because it definitely seems like the kind of deck that wants to just grind us out. So they're probably just holding their own emperor here. Um, yeah, that's fine. 
I guess we can just like attack and see what they do. Could also just get wedding announcement and just sit, but I think attacking here is fine. We are a little bit on the back foot here on health, so. Remember your training. I guess we can drop to seven here because we've got the soul partition. So I think it's okay because we can just use this to get rid of the token. Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. It is a little dicey going to seven here, but I think it's okay. Well, maybe we hit lands this way, so that's kind of nice. Um, yeah, we don't really need that right now. Oh no, they beat us to the Virtue of Loyalty game. Oh no. Oof. All right, well, we've got Soul Partition plus Smite, so we can force that. Uh, we could try to get a land here first, but it is a little dicey because we want to be able to do both. I think we just play it safe here. Get rid of their token. And then force the block. Now we at least force them to decide if they want to make a token or not. Well, it's not a land, but it is a it is a token, and we can fight over tokens here for a little bit. Ooh, a hostile investigator is nasty. What do we discard here? I think we, we definitely want these two. Because we can partition their token, which is pretty useful. I guess like Morel is decent also. Do we want Wandering Emperor or Morel more? I think we probably actually want Morel more because it's going to be hard to defend the Emperor. However, this is the only way we can gain life. So... Yeah, I think... I think we lose the Emperor here, unfortunately. Now that they've got Virtue going, though, this is going to be really tough to race. So we can 
partition their investigator, but they get more value when they play it. Um, they're short of playing it. <sighs> or we could partition the token, but then we can't kill the Emperor. I think we've got to partition the investigator here as much as it sucks. Otherwise, we could just play Adeline and then try to swing out that way. I think this is the play. As much as I don't like it. Okay, we don't have enough mana to get their vir virtue yet, but that would be great. We can play Adeline though. At least we're on the board. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, maybe 25 land is just not enough. Do we need March? We probably need March, honestly. I think as much as it sucks, we need the March. Yeah, because now we can March the token. God, this investigator is rough times, though. We can at least kill the Wandering Emperor. I think we might just lose here, but... Yeah, because if we march the token and attack, we can kill the Emperor, but then they just kill our Adeline. This is super brutal. I think, unfortunately, we are just dead here. If we'd kept the Morel instead... But yeah, their guys are going to grow. And we're at five... Yeah, I think this is just it. They're just doing what we're doing, except they're doing it better. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it. I did not expect to run into another Virtue of Loyalty deck <laughs> the very first match. I think, yeah, we just got stuck on land there. We, we definitely could have used more land. So I, I don't really know what to cut to make room for it, though. I think 25 land maybe is a little bit... It's a little bit aggressive, but we don't have too many expensive cards. I think the real answer is it's probably we just don't need to be running Gathering Throng. I, I like the idea of it, though. It's probably just not good enough in practice. Like, I want to believe that there's a, <laughs> a hope for this card. But I think we'll probably do a little bit better here against, like, straight aggro. Here we just hold up smite. Oh wow, they're going for the double show off.
We could just take it here if we want. I think we want to get this thing off the table for sure, though. So I think we just... I want them to invest cards in it, though, is the problem. Yeah, I think it's just too much of a liability. We just get rid of it. Oh, they've got the Lawrence escape. So I think we march in response. Um, probably pitching, gathering, throwing. Well, I guess that's that's value. I mean, maybe we pitch virtue here. Yeah. Oh, I guess we just didn't do it fast enough. That's okay, honestly. Take a little bit of damage here, but I think it's all right. Um, now we can do Virtue plus March if we need to. I think we definitely want to hold up mana here. Yeah, invasion's pretty good. That's a pretty good combo, I will admit. definitely have not seen this flavor of uh, Boros before. So we don't really have time for wedding announcement here. I think we just want to go Adeline. Standing to take 12 damage here. Oof. All right. Yeah, that early Lauren's escape was very problematic. So I think our hope here is if we draw into temporary lockdown, that's like what we need at this point. Oh, never mind, they just got Xaxes. Yep, I guess that works. This deck might definitely have to go back to the drawing board, but it's, you know, honestly, it got me <laughs> between Platinum and the Diamond, so I had to at least showcase it a little bit. They can't all be bangers, right? Okay, another show off deck. So 
So here we go for Adeline, or we could go for Announcement. Announcement is kind of slow. We may not have time for it. I think we just go Adeline here. We push. Question is, do they have the turn four kill? Glad we blocked. Now we can just Emperor. I suppose, like, if they have another Snakeskin Veil, could potentially use it. We could try it now before they draw. Yeah. We just try for it now. I hope you're ready to lose. My judgment is final. <laughs> On the board. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gotta win. Yeah, I guess there's probably a fair amount of like gruel pump as well. Right, this hand is atrocious that's a lot better i think we toss back a smite and just keep everything else i have no illusions about <laughs> trying enough land otherwise or no removal okay so I think the real question is are we gonna have enough removal against or enough uh, stuff to do against control So much for our Mirix. It was fun while it lasted.
There we go. There's a money card. Problem is, is that if they have no more lies, or even like the hard counter on three steps ahead, they can easily counter it. But I think it's, uh, yeah, I think we, we go for that. I guess we could attack first. But again, I think no sense in waiting here. And they have the No More Lies. Ooh, that's a good one. Do you have more? We've got less in this fight. <laughs> Triple lockdown. Oh, Lord. So I guess we could we could lock down here. It's slight benefit to us. We could also attack and smite. Yeah, I guess let's attack and smite here. somewhere we could just march the uh wandering emperor here but we could also just march their token it's a little bit cheaper Wandering. 
So do we just try to race here? I mean, they're gonna be racing poison, I guess. We could just attack with one. I think we probably just attack with one here. Maybe after another turn or two, we just uh, lock down again. I suppose we could probably just hold Cavernous Souls until we need to play it. So maybe we should have just held it there. Yeah, definitely gonna need some kind of action here. Question is, can I bait the counter spell here? We're not quite at a point where we need to lock down for one token, but I guess this way they, they hit us to eight if we let this one sit. It's a little dicey. Do we wanna let ourselves go to eight? I think we actually have to lock down here. getting beaten down by a Mirix. <laughs> and they even have the uh, Field of Ruin back on. So I guess we can wait one more turn before locking down, but then they'll have it at the end of their next turn. So sort of the same if we do it now or just wait. Start with the lockdown.
Do they have removal? Okay, that'll do it. All right, let's do one more. I think his deck needs a lot of work. Definitely a lot of tuning. Um, yeah, they're not all winners, but it was fun building the deck. It's kind of a, I like the idea of being able to kind of deal with all the aggro decks and then just be a little bit above them, but like lower than getting under the, the control decks. I guess the control matchups are pretty miserable though. I think one way to help that would probably be like having more um, Mirix's main deck. Let's see if we can get them to put some stuff into this cacophony scamp. Ooh, that was a nice pickup. Uh, we can do another wedding announcement. I can go for Adeline. Kind of like Adeline here. Could play morale. I think we just attack and see what they do. They want to have like a big turn where they can like sacrifice everything. So I think we just want to hold interaction. Could he Ganjo here? Yeah, I think I just want to hold interaction. <clears throat>
No, we can exile it. I think we could also just soul partition it. It's almost kind of funnier. And that should do it. Nice. So yeah, against against aggro, it's definitely got some decent stuff to do. So it really just depends on us if you run into like more aggro or control matchups. I think there's a lot of fixing I could definitely do to the deck, but it's kind of a fun starting point. Um, what I would probably do going forward, I'd probably cut the Gathering Throng. They're just kind of bad. Um, and then maybe shift some of the numbers of some of the removal spells here. But overall, I mean, like, I like Virtue as, like, an endgame. I think that, like, Wandering Emperor is really good. I don't know. I guess in the aggro matchups, like, Adeline can be a nice finisher. Same with Morel. Don't know how it does against the control matchups. I guess with Cavern, being able to have an uncounterable Adeline can be pretty good. So... At any rate, let's take a look at the stats. So some of these games I did on my tablet, which were not counted here in this, but we just went two and three, so not super overwhelming. Um, I think it's a fun deck though, and I definitely want to keep like tinkering with it. Um, it, it can do pretty well against aggro, um, but any kind of like control can be an issue. They can go like bigger and better over it. Orzov and Azorius are both trouble. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome and we will see you in the next one.